fall break is here and I can go home, get a break from school and all that has happened and just chill at home and get some home meal, good cooking. I am pumped. I am happy. I am so sick of pizza, fries, and hamburgers. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna chill and do nothing because I am home and I am so happy to be back. My pops came up and uh, he picked me up. We drove all the way back home, packed up my things, said goodbye to my roommates and headed out. Homie is going home. Ah, I can't, I can't express to you guys how happy I am to go home. First thing I do when I get home, eat. And I did. I got the rest of the ice cream and ate straight out the bowl of the carton of ice cream. And my dad wasn't too happy about that. Matter of fact, I got in trouble. But that, never mind that. We're going to skip over that part of my life and get back to how I love being home and just being around my family. I sat there and I just de-stressed amongst family and it's beautiful being around on your own for a while and then coming back home to your nesting grounds and just chilling with the fam is just it was a breath of fresh air really really enjoyed myself but time is only but for a moment and i had to go back to school because midterms are coming up and that's what i did went out did some studying outside enjoyed the environment um got my homework done um, took my midterm and passed my midterm. However, the time, it, two or three days it took for me to study for my midterm, my room was a hot mess. So here I am cleaning my room. I'm going to fast forward all of this because it took me like an hour and a half between clothes, trash, and random papers and objects I've just picked up since the beginning of the um, midterms week. But hey, ooh, that's what the floor looks like. Guess what, y'all? Remember I said I needed a car? So after I got back from fall break, Pops handed me the keys and I got his old truck. Hallelujah. Now, granted, this is one of them old trucks that don't got no like electric stuff. So I had to roll down the windows. In order to unlock the passenger side, I gotta like reach over and move the little switch over. The little dashboard or like cabinet on the passenger side is broken so it just lays open but look i ain't complaining because i got some wheels i am no longer campus locked it is so beautiful ah <sighs> it's wonderful so i'm happy i'm happy i got some wheels i know what i want to do i know where i want to go got people to see places to be and i'm i'm turned i'm happy so i go park my car head up to my room um chill clean blah, blah blah a day or two goes by and i'm like yo let me go let me go get my car you know i'm ready to go do this like let's go somewhere isaiah you got the car now I go downstairs to my car and i see a piece of paper waving at me parking violation i forgot to get a parking pass they hit me with 50 dollars y'all I don't even want to tell my parents <laughs> I forgot to get the parking decal. It's parking decal. And it's like, this thing sitting in the wind just waving at me like, <laughs> So next morning, I go up there and I go up to the cashier's office. I'm like, look. They're like, no, don't go here. You want to go to the parking decal place. So I move over a building, go over there. And they're like, look, we see this is your first violation. I'm going to take care of it for you. And they waived it. I don't need this. Why is it so hard to tear? I don't need it no more. Yes. She waved it. No parking violation for me. $50 out the window. So I'm like, yes, clutch. So here is your parking decal. Here you go. You can check your student account to see how much they'll charge you for the parking decal. So I'm like, yeah, look. So I'll go back up to my room. See how much they charge me. They hit your boy with $350 for a parking decal sticker. I said, $350 to park my car because I need one? Homie, homie about to get a moped. So for those of you guys who have been following me since video number one, you remember this from the last episode. 
I need money. Um, so here I am about to dress up and get ready to go to this interview here shortly. And um, I'm excited about it. I think, I'll, I think I'm going to get the job. I, re- I would love to be a tour guide. I mean, it's meeting new people and talking, which is like my two favorite things to do in life. Turns out, your boy got the job. I am now an official tour guide member for the university. I will be giving tours on a weekly basis starting in about two weeks or so. I still got to go through the training process. And I am happy to be on the team. Welcome to the university. Oh, yeah. In other news, y'all, so much has happened since my last video. I'm so sorry that I have not been getting these videos out on a regular basis. Stress and believe all that is going to change because all my little computer problems I was having this last two weeks or so, gone, fixed. I did it. Videos coming out on a weekly basis. So check this out. Because of the city that I'm in, there are a lot of movie opportunities to be like extras or have speaking roles or just be on sets and all that kind of stuff. So me and my girl were like, she was like, yo, why don't you go over here and be in this extra with me? And I'm like, why wouldn't I want to be in a movie? But they will pay you to be a guy that just sits in the stand or walks a dog across the set and they'll pay you a hundred something dollars, blah, 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 you know, by the hour or whatever. So it's a great opportunity. So how about your boys in a movie? Oh, pumped. Yo, it was a really, really cool experience to see how movies are formed behind the lens, not just in front. So, I mean, that's that's right up my alley. That's what I want to do with my life. That's what I'm here for school for, majoring in communications, minor in theatrical arts. So this is like a perfect opportunity. Shout out to my girl for the hookup. Now, on this set, I see a lot of different people that have been doing this for years. I mean, a lot of these people, this, this is their sole job is just to travel around the country being extras and getting paid to do so. I'm like, that's cool. So I'm going to start getting in more into these. Now, some of these people really thought they were professional movie stars. I mean, the movie that I was in was kind of a low low budget movie. But these people really thought that they were some Denzel Washingtons and Angelina Jolie's. Like, honey, honey, listen, Linda, you're sitting right next to me on this bench pretending to be a fan. You're not that important. I'm sorry, but we're extras. So camera time doesn't really apply to us. We're just here and maybe we might get a glimpse. There's no need for you to push me out of my chair for you to get a spot on this on this TV show. Come down because you're not that cute. Your hair's uneaten. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't say that. That, that would have been rude. So yeah, my week has been very, very eventful. Had a lot going on. So much more ahead. Um, these next few weeks, I got a lot of stuff planned. So. Stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss anything. You'll get a notification like that every time I upload a video. So, subscribe, follow, and friend. See you guys next week.